Alright guys, this is the Michael Myers Fanatic back with another video. I admit, from the start of this video, I don't know much about the lawsuit. I'm going to tell you guys that straight up. The only reason I'm making this video is because I'm a Friday the 13th fan. I don't know the details of the lawsuit. I admit that. If you want to come on my channel and bash me because I don't know the details, because I don't know every nook and cranny of the lawsuit, that's fine. You're free to do that. I'm going to block you, but you're free to do it, you know, until you get blocked and your comment gets deleted. But anyway, I'm assuming that Victor Miller or whatever his name is wanted the rights back because he created Friday the 13th. I'm assuming that's what it's about. Let me tell you guys something. When I was a kid, I fucking loved Jason. Straight up. I loved him. I was fucking obsessed with him as a child. I was so obsessed with this dude, I got in trouble for always wearing the mask and shit like that. Halloween ended up being much worse, but we'll get into that another time. But I would always wear the mask. I would always make the noise. You know, some people identify with the iconic Jason noise as more of a KI sound like <laughs> And then some people identify with it more of being a CH sound, like ch, ch, ch. Either way, when I was a kid, I would always do it. I thought it was the CH sound. I would always go ch, ch, ch when I was a kid. I fucking loved that movie. Straight up. And in my opinion... It doesn't really matter what they do with the lawsuit now. Jason is gone. His legacy is trashed. Jason's best years are behind him. I'm sorry. I'm going to be the unpopular opinion. It was cool when I was a kid. It was cool when it used to come on TV. It was cool when Joe Bob Briggs would host the Friday the 13th marathons. But now, no. I'm sorry, but no. When they did that remake in 2009, that's what killed it for me. And Freddy vs. Jason didn't help matters either. Jason had that big ass jacket. He just looks stupid in Freddy vs. Jason. His best days are behind him, trust me. I know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I've heard many different things since the lawsuit started. Like, I know one time they wanted to bring Friday the 13th to the CW in 2015. And that got canceled. I did an interview with Tom McLaughlin, who wrote and directed Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives. And um, he said he wanted to do an all-female Friday the 13th, where Jason comes back in 1998. And I guess... Something about a Catholic school or something, he told me. I'm assuming they're not going to use that idea either. I told Tom McLaughlin that if the movie ever comes out that he wants to do with the female cast, that I would love to have him back on the show. Whoever plays the main girl in the movie... In Tom's movie, if they decide to do that, I would love to have her on the show. But other than that, Jason's gone. His best days are over. 
What are they going to do at this point? He's already been sent to hell. He's already been sent to outer space. What are they going to do at this point? What are they going to do? Get Kane Hodder back for nostalgic reasons? I just don't see it happening. So, I mean, I hate to piss on your parade. That's the last thing I want to do. If you guys are happy about a new Friday the 13th movie, good for you. But I don't see any hope for Jason at this point. And this was coming from his biggest fan. Before I switched over to Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, let's talk about Halloween the holiday for a minute. Not the movie, but the holiday. I always wanted to be Jason for Halloween. Trust me when I tell you this. If my mom was in this room, she would tell you guys that I fucking loved Jason as a child. I always wanted to be him. I love the hockey mask. I would always beg people to draw a picture of Jason for me. And they would do it. I remember one time when I used to have a personal assistant to help me with things. Because most of my fans know that I, I'm in a wheelchair. That's no secret. So I had to have a personal assistant. And as a reward, he actually drew me a picture of Jason. I was so fucking excited. And by the way, I loved Jason Goes to Hell. I know it's a bad movie, but I love it because it's one of the first ones that I've ever seen. When I was a kid, I couldn't see them that often. I think part five was the first one that I ever saw. And then I saw seven. I think and then I saw six and then I might have seen Jason Goes to Hell. Anyway, I like part five. I like the idea of it not being Jason. Somebody pretending to be Jason. But anyway, guys. I don't see any hope for it. I just wanted to come and share my thoughts. I love the guy, but those days are long gone. And they ain't ever coming back. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic, and I approve this message. Please be sure to follow me on all forms of social media at the TheMyersFan25. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Thank you for watching.